In keeping with the tradition of personal anonymity at the level of public media, the faces of AA members do not appear in this production. The people shown portraying AA members are hired actors. Cooperation with legal and corrections professionals is an ongoing objective of Alcoholics Anonymous. We realize that you will encounter alcoholic clients and inmates in the course of your work, and we would like you to know more about what AA is and what it isn't. You have to think about the fact that the justice system is really fueled by alcohol. And when I say that, it's when you look at the underlying cause of why people are in court, not just criminal, but civil cases as well. You know, somebody was drunk and driving and hit another car and is now being sued for the damages, or somebody is an alcoholic and their marriage is breaking up, so they're going through a dissolution many reasons why people are in court, not just criminal, but underneath it is the fact that somebody involved in those cases is an alcoholic and needs help in finding recovery. I think there's an absolute connection between alcoholism and crime. Uh, statistics show that 80% of offenders are either addicted to alcohol or drugs or both, and so it really seems to be a causation of crime. AA doesn't claim to have the only solution to recovery from alcoholism, but we do have a way that works for us. While AA does not affiliate with outside entities, it serves as a resource to professionals. I guess my suggestion would be for the judges to make sure that the probation officers and the case managers understand how to talk to someone about their work in AA and how they're working on the program rather than bringing a pro forma per slip of attendance, um, something that's been stamped or signed. The primary purpose of AA is for members to stay sober and help other alcoholics achieve sobriety. Well, when I was a warden, it was the first time I, I came um, in contact with AA. And they came into the institution and asked to see me, and we set up a group. I noted uh, quite a change in the inmates that were in that group, so that's why I was first very impressed. AA meetings are at the heart of the fellowship. Legal and corrections professionals have a standing invitation to observe open AA meetings. Local AA committees often help professionals find meetings for their clients and may be able to set up meetings on site if requested. And. Um also explain to them that AA is not um, affiliated with any other organization or group. It, it's not a religious organization that uh, people from all walks of life can find a home in Alcoholics Anonymous. While the AA recovery program is based on broad spiritual principles, it is not a religious organization. AA can help people stop drinking and stay stopped, which allows them to rebuild their lives. AA literature is available and could be passed along to alcoholic clients and inmates. The AA.org website also offers valuable information. The About AA newsletter for professionals can be accessed from this website. Inmates who are involved in AA inside the walls and are working the 12 steps uh, absolutely are different than inmates who are not. Um, you see that those inmates not only get involved with AA, but then you'll start to see them take college classes or be more involved in chapel services or other programs within the prison walls. Reentry is the program that all corrections is pushing us, successful reentry in society. AA could play an awfully big part in that. Local AA offices are listed in most telephone directories and on the web. You can also contact the General Service Office of AA for help and information, or find us on the web at www.aa.org. We look forward to helping you help your alcoholic clients. Some professionals refer to alcoholism and drug addiction as substance abuse or chemical dependency. 
Non-alcoholics are therefore sometimes introduced to AA and encouraged to attend AA meetings. Anyone may attend open AA meetings, but only those with a drinking problem may attend closed meetings. In keeping with the tradition of personal anonymity at the level of public media, the faces of AA members do not appear in this production. The people shown portraying AA members are hired actors.